Vivaldi's Four Seasons is one of the best-known works in the violin concerto repertoire and an artistic expression of the four themes of the year based on the Earth's orbit of the Sun. But in a previous China Current interview, Jeanne de Biolay reminded me that in the Chinese tradition, the calendar is not divided into four seasons, but 24 solar terms that are paired with an astronomical event or a natural phenomenon. Today, this is my story. A solar term is one of the 24 periods in the traditional lunisolar calendar, a combination of the lunar and solar system. People in Asia, particularly China, have always had a close association with nature, so much so that even in this modern age, their year still follows the movements of the moon and sun, rather than the Gregorian tradition elsewhere. The solar terms are another example of that originating in China before being adopted by the Koreans, Vietnamese and Japanese, it was first based on the seasonal weather changes in the North China Plain, which is surrounded on three sides by the Yangshan, Taihang and Dabie Mountains and the Yellow and Bohai Seas towards the east. Each of the terms have a Chinese name, the corresponding elliptic longitude of the sun, and a Chinese zodiac, an earthly branch of month, so that when we talk about a solar term, we also understand its significance and how it links to the people who belong to each of its periods. After the four great Chinese inventions of paper, printing, compass and gunpowder, the solar terms are regarded as its fifth major innovation. Indeed, since 2016, UNESCO recognizes and protects the 24 solar terms as an intangible cultural heritage. This is a list of beliefs, customs, traditions, knowledge, language and folklore that are considered to be of global significance, and China has more than any other country, including France and Italy. But this ancient invention still carries deep relevance today. For example, the Chinese people still refer to the 24 solar terms, including agricultural workers who depend on the solar system to guide their work. More deeply, any of us who celebrate Chinese holidays also use this system because the dates of the Dragon Boat Festival, Qingming Festival and Winter Solstice follow this tradition. This is true not only for Chinese people in China, but also the 40 million globally who identify with their Chinese birth or ancestry. The name of the 24 solar terms is fascinating as an official translation into English for this year's Beijing Winter Olympics shows. Let me give you an example. At 315 degrees longitude, Li Chun is the beginning of spring, falling roughly on February 4th, give or take one or two days at most, linked to the tiger or the zodiac cycle and the yin earthly branch that corresponds with the Aquarius astrological sign. Then there are further 23 sets of data for the other solar terms that include spring equinox, grain buds, minor heat, end of heat, cold dew and frost's descent. It's tempting to look at these with a degree of romanticism, but as a collection they are a substantial place marker in the Chinese culture and as we saw earlier, a critical resource for farming communities today. Many Chinese living in the north still follow the tradition of pickled vegetables on light snow day and pickled meats on heavy snow day. During the Qingming festival, they sweep the tombs of their ancestors, and during winter solstice, families gather around a table to eat dumplings in the north of China and sweet soup balls in the south, including Hong Kong. The wisdom that dates back thousands of years have found their rightful place in contemporary society and demonstrate that for all the smart devices we rely on today, we still need the knowledge created by those who came before us. While meaningful change is important, traditions represented by the 24 solar systems provide an anchor to our past when the world is uncertain. And that is a lesson we can all understand today, no matter where we are. Please give a warm welcome for James Chow. I'm James Chow, host of The China Current, with a glimpse into tomorrow's world and stories about the human experience everywhere.